Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and welcome to another video on earthing and lighting protection systems. In our previous videos, we have discussed various techniques for lighting protection and today we are going to discuss a device, a pretty small device which gives us information about the number of times that lightning has struck your system. This device is called a lightning strike counter. In this video, we will cover what is a lightning counter, how a lightning counter works, what are its features and how to install a lightning counter. So firstly, what is a lightning counter? A lightning strike counter is used to record the number of lightning strike events that hits a system. It gives us the exact number of lightning events experienced by the lightning protection system, thus helping us to identify if a system requires maintenance. A lightning counter is attached to the down conductor of a lightning protection system and records the data when current passes through it. Waterproof lightning strike counters are also available for surge protection devices, lightning rods and other products. Some advanced lightning strike counters can also identify the amplitude and polarity of the lightning strike, the date and time of the occurrence and other information apart from just the number of lightning events. Next, let's understand how the lightning counter works. As the counter is installed to the down conductor, whenever a flash of lightning hits the air terminal, it passes down through the down conductor to the earth. The lightning event information is gathered by the electromagnetic induction caused by the current signal passing through the conductor. Thus, the lightning strike counter gets the exact record of the strike each time. The device has a digital display that shows the number of lightning events that have occurred. Access lightning counters have a 3-digit and a 6-digit display and are battery operated. Now, let's take a look at the important features of a high-quality lightning strike counter. IEC 62561-6 specifies the requirements and tests for devices manufactured to count the number of lightning strikes. As per this IEC standard, the lightning strike counter must have certain basic features such as Easy installation, as most of the down conductors may be situated outdoors and at a height, thus installation is very important. Easy monitoring, such that anyone can easily read the values on the display. Thirdly, low maintenance, good battery backup, number five, waterproof and weather resistant since the lightning strike counter should be capable of both indoors and outdoors use. Let us go through the installation processes of a lightning strike counter. A lightning counter can be installed close to the ground wire of a power SPD, i.e. a surge protection device or the down conductor of the lightning rod. The installation process is as follows. Step number one. Loosen the two screw nuts at the back of the lightning counter. Next, remove the spring washer and the flat gasket. Step 2. Remove the clamp and put the ground wire of the power SPD or the down conductor between the two screw nuts. Step 3. Then place the pressing plate, flat gasket, spring washer and screw nuts correctly and tighten the two screw nuts. Step 4. Ensure that the ground wire of the power SPD or the down conductor of the lightning rod is not disturbed during installation. Finally, let's talk about maintenance for your lightning strike counter. We can say that lightning counters do not need any special maintenance. Annual checking of the ground wire of the power SPD or the down conductor is needed to see whether the contact segment is well connected or not. For the power SPD, the ground wire should be in proper contact for low resistance and accurate counting. If the down conductor is oxidized or rusty, it will affect the counting capacity of the lightning strike counter. I hope this video was helpful to you in understanding more about lightning strike counters and their installation. Please share your feedback and queries in the comment section below. Do like and subscribe to our channel for more videos about lightning protection, grounding and other videos on electrical engineering. I'll see you soon in the next video.